he would count up numbers over and over again. I literally was there when I was a sub since 500k shit. It was insane to see him grow. A shame he's going down this path. I built a business of watching you since the age of 16. His burgers are just made of Buca de Beppo and they market them as separate company and don't make them or have real locations. What? He is baby. He tried to give random people supercars and he forgot about insurance. Yeah. I mean, did, I remember he was like talking to H3, H3. Uh, he was talking to Ethan about like literally fucking giving people supercars and not re not recognizing that like there's a lot of cost associated with giving someone a fucking massively expensive car and like burdening them or saddling them with an insane amount of debt. <sighs> Though Donaldson gave away increasingly large amounts from 100,000 to 1 million, he made it all back and more with advertising that ran alongside the videos. Sold merchandise like socks and water bottles and t-shirts. Once you know how to make a video go viral, it's just about how to get as many out as possible, he told Bloomberg in December. You can practically make unlimited money. He's right about that. By 2018, Mr. Donaldson had about a dozen people working for him in a small office in Greenville. In early 2019, he moved his companies into a larger warehouse. His workforce has grown to around two dozen people, people who worked for him, he said, though it was hard to keep track because of an expanding group of contracts, production assistants who helped on video shoots. Many of his employees were a part of a network of friends, family, and acquaintances. Close friends acted as co-stars in his videos, developed YouTube followings off of him. That's true. He expanded it in a, with a gaming app. Why did my voice crack? Gaming app. The last person to take the finger off a cash prize up to 25000 The app was such a hit that Mr. Donaldson relaunched in March, raising the prize to 100000 <laughs> New type of gaming controller. In March, he teamed up with Creative Juice Financial Network to introduce Juice Funds, a $2 million investment fund. Oh, Jesus Christ. That funds that creators, that offers up to $250,000 in exchange for equity in their YouTube channels. Oh, Jesus, I'm Lord mercy. Many fans praised him on social media for personally investing his money, though the funding came from Creative Juice investors. Oh, yikes. Yeah. All right. So there is a change happening. He has been clickbaiting forever. Now part of the reason of cute, huge kid audience. There's a change happening, boys. And that change is like, as, as is the case with any uh, industry that is a growing sector, as is the case with like any industry of, of any growth sector is ultimately going to get uh, swarmed by vulturous uh, venture capital, hedge funds, and uh, of course, capitalism in general. Getting exposed. Oh, look, it's fucking, it's uh, Carl Jacobs. A screenshot from a YouTube video, which Donaldson, right, bought an island and then stranded himself and his crew there for 24 hours. I mean, is this case of clickbaiting bad when he actually does the crazy shit he puts in his title? That's true. He's like the kind of guy who's like, you know, clickbait works really well on YouTube. So why don't we just do the things that we say uh, that we would clickbaiting, which is not even clickbait in that sense. You know what I mean? It's literally not clickbaiting. He just was like, a lot of people clickbait and they get a lot of success as a consequence of clickbaiting. So why don't we just literally do the things that, uh, that, that we claim to be doing in the videos and therefore not clickbaiting at all. For the record, I don't think that's clickbaiting. I, I do agree that that's not clickbaiting, obviously. They called ghost restaurants. They aren't real places. I know what ghost kitchens are. I know. Um, no, he is, by the way, for the record, he is brilliant. Like he is very, very smart. Uh, I, I think I've said this before. Like he is a really smart guy. He's a really, really smart guy. Straight up. You don't, you don't have, you don't experience like this level of growth purely on uh luck alone at such an early age even with like all of the advantages that you may or may not have ultimately for him to reach these levels it still means that he was uh one lucky but also pretty fucking smart too he's very good at marketing lol meritocracy okay guys acknowledging that skills are still Acknowledging that skill still plays a role or hard work still plays a role in success does not mean that I believe in like a, a unconditional meritocracy. 
okay? It is a very stupid fucking approach to assume that, like... It is a very stupid approach to assume that, like, skill and, and, uh... A level of intellect does not fucking play a, any role whatsoever. Please stop. Check XCC stream. Why? It's top of the hour, boys. They should give his marketing teacher a pay raise. We're going to continue on with this. Fucking juicers are so weird. Why did... It's top of the hour every hour. It's time for a... Are you still dating Janice? No. It's time for a 60-second ad break, okay? We're going to hit that quick ad break here. If you'd like to no longer... Don't adapt the you're fighting. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I fucking, I don't care. Well, it's going to be all over LSF in a fucking, in three minutes. So uh, don't worry. We'll see all of it. Um, That's also really fucking lame that you're hyper-focusing on that. Anyway, uh, six second ad break here. If you no longer want to see the ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do it for $5 or for free by connecting your Amazon private account to your Twitch account. You get one free Prime subscription a month. Uh, here's the ad break now. Okay. Are you still dating your right hand or did you switch your side boot to your left hand? No, I am still very much in love with my right hand. This is an example of earlier Mr. What's Beast up, content. guys? I'm going to be watching It's Every Day, bro, for 10 hours straight. Yeah. Yeah, this is like, this is literally what I was talking about. Like, he just took, like, something that would otherwise be clickbait and literally turned it into what he actually was doing and therefore making it not clickbait. The whole like getting, uh, the whole like finding out the recipe for what makes a viral video and then expanding on that, uh, by, by getting, uh, expanding on that by getting people to, uh, uh to, to literally give him the fucking cash up front that he is giving away in the goddamn videos itself is pretty smart. It's a pretty smart play. Also... Uh, guess what, Sweaty? This is literally the content equivalent of working in a fucking coal mine, dude. Okay? What he's doing here is literally torture. Like, people be like, oh, YouTube content creators do nothing, dude. Well, guess what, dude? Can you watch fucking It's Everyday Boy Bro for 10 hours straight? No. I want to see what happens. See, this is... <laughs> uh, I've watched you for 14. It's not the same thing. Dude, do you know how much fuck do you know how dynamic my stream is? Are you crazy? By the fourth hour, you're like, I want to die, probably. Like, I literally try my very best. I try my very best to make sure that there's like things happening in every fucking second of the stream. This has to be torture. This actually has to be fucking torture. I'm pretty sure this is... If the American military did this to prisoners, you would literally... You would literally be like, that's unacceptable. Like, that's... That's some shit that wouldn't... You wouldn't be able to get away with doing in, like, Guantanamo Bay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, let's uh let's go along. They have just not with that song. I know they play like music uh and and uh, play flashing lights so that you can't go to sleep. It's like sleep deprivation torture. Anyway, let's keep going. Blaine Greenwald reporting on the everyday bro incident circa 2014. <laughs> okay. The money rolls in. The behind the scenes uh, strife has been imperceptible to those who watch Mr. Donaldson's videos casually. Ryan Moray, 25 software developer in New Jersey, who prefers non-traditional pronouns and MX for a courtesy title often watches Mr. Donaldson's videos. Their partner, Emily Woods, 24, over dinner. They became fans of Mr. Donaldson's videos, our YouTube recommendation. He takes a lot of inspiration directly from Elon Musk for better or for worse. Is the cult of personality all ambition all the time. Ms. Wood said she had recently bought a Mr. Beast sweatshirt and a baseball cap, partly because she felt that giving him her money would lead to some good in the world. In 2019, Mr. Donaldson planted 20 million trees to celebrate hitting 20 million subscribers. In March, he started a YouTube channel, Beast Philanthropy, which has grown to over 3.2 million subs. He now employs about 50 people. According to his representative, former employees at a core, dozen, core of a dozen writers, editors, and production assistants worked tirelessly to pull off stunts like buying everything in a store, giving people $1 million dollars, and only a minute to spend it building the world's largest Lego tower or buying an island. Jesus Christ. His primary YouTube channel alone generates $3.1 million a month. That's crazy. He believes that you can do whatever you want in today's environment. There will be more Mr. Beast, Mr. Mercy Murphy added. You're going to see this proliferation of creators creating these very disruptive businesses. Yeah. Um, all his videos are all, always on the feature tab. Makes sense. So it's like Twitch, right? It's like uh, Twitch. Like the, the larger you get, the easier you are, the uh, easier of a time you have to maintain that. As long as you like, uh, as long as you have a good flow of content, it's like if you're top billing, if you're literally uh, on the top of the leaderboard, it is easier for you to consistently uh, build momentum off of that. And Mr. Beast recognizes that. Um, the problem there, though, is Twitch is so tiny compared to this. Oh, no, straight up. Twitch is a baby in comparison to this. I'm just giving an example on Twitch because we're on Twitch and most people analyze everything through the twitch lens he's youtube's golden boy but rightfully so yeah my point on stuff like this is that i'd rather have someone be like mr beast and be like fucking keemstar you know what i mean <laughs> youtubers don't do work mr beast i'm gonna do cia war crimes to myself for 24 hours um So that's my, that's my like, uh, kind of centrist take on Mr. Beast. My fear is that it's going to be the extra, it, 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 the corruption comes from, uh, hyper capitalist institutions latching on and, and motivating people like this to behave a certain way and, and cut corners and start, um, start building businesses in like very unethical ways. You, you see what I'm saying? I like when he pays for everyone's food or spends 1 million on giving food to homeless people, but not all these capitalist shit like buying up YouTube channels. Like the, and it's already, it's already happened. You know what I mean? It, it's clear that it's already happened, especially with like this, uh, like that VC part of this uh, article is like the literal worst part of this article. That, that VC part where it's like, oh, we now have an entrepreneurial enterprise. Rather have Beast than Pewds at, at the top. Hopefully he doesn't get worse, become a shithead. Well, first of all, the thing you don't know about... The the thing you don't know about or, or don't recognize that, like... Uh, PewDiePie, for his, like, uh, reactionary stint that he went through... 
uh, in the aftermath of that, as far as like his business side of things goes, from what I understand, he's always, uh, he's always maintained a level of like autonomy that he faces uh, or that he places way above anything else. And also he's not as, uh, he's nowhere near, uh, as bad as, uh, he used to be from what I understand. He's also a Nazi Pago. No, I don't think he's, I don't think he is. I, I do not think he is. It was his defense of refugees in Sweden before the bridge or after. No, that was before. Defending streamers, what a surprise. Okay. PewDiePie, the guy that likes to wear Nazi regalia? He's not okay, dude. Hold on, let me get some Turkish shitters in the chat real quick. He's doing what got Andrew's entire channel taken away from him. It's so disgusting though. I don't think he realized it yet. Yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, only defends your, only defends big content creators. Yeah, I know. I think a lot of people don't know what I do or what I have done in the past even on Twitch and still do to this day when they say dumb shit like that. But it's kind of funny. Uh, did you watch the new Darmon video? No, but I want to, I want to watch that. Uh, are you denying that PewDiePie is a Nazi sympathizer now? I don't think PewDiePie is a Nazi sympathizer. Uh, no, I, I think that he was getting radicalized by alt-right people. He's definitely not. Uh, he's definitely nowhere near that anymore, as far as I've seen. Unfollowed. I followed you 10 minutes ago. You've changed. Okay. Give me some, give me that Ice Darman video. He just happens to be associated with anti-Semitic content creators and charities. Oh, straight up, straight up. He was like fully in the late stages of the alt-right radicalization pipeline, probably around like, I guess like around 2018, 2018, 2019. He was like in the fucking late stage, like straight up, like one sneeze away from, uh, being a, a straight up Nazi. Like he defended so many like actual literal Nazis and shit. But I think now, uh, the ice video. Oh, here it is. The, uh, the ice, vi the ice video, the, the, the stuff that he's done, uh, the stuff that he's done after, I think the turning point was, I think the turning point for him was in the aftermath. And this is an like, insane fucking conversation to have. But I think the turning point for him was probably after the, um, the, the mosque shooting in Christchurch where the fucking shooter that shot up the mosque, remember the fucking terrorist that shot up the mosque literally, uh, said like subscribe to PewDiePie. And since then, uh, I, you haven't really heard a fucking peep from him in that respect. The last like controversial thing that happened uh, that revolves around PewDiePie uh, since then has been the fact that he wanted to donate to the ADL and then literally fucking pulled back from donating to the, uh, ADL. But since then he is like low key without it being straight up all over the fucking news. Um, without it being, uh, all over the fucking news, he is, he's, uh, raised a ton of fucking money for Yemen. Like he's, uh, he's donated a ton of money to, uh, like uh, mutual aid funds, if I'm not mistaken, like the uh, the mutual aid funds during like George Floyd. 
PewDiePie has done way worse than John Tron and you're letting him off easy? Like, I don't understand what people want me to do. Do you want me to go fucking kill him or something? Like, I, I, I don't understand. Like, what, what does this take? So it affected his pockets and he decided to stop being open about Nazism? Like, I, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, he, this is like a fucking insane, dude. John Tron was straight up spreading fucking, like, white nationalist rhetoric deliberately. Okay? I think people constantly and consistently forget that, like, they themselves could have very easily been radicalized, or they themselves were literally fucking radicalized at a certain point. So you'll forgive PewDiePie's raisin because he stopped after a massacre? LMAO, go fuck yourself. Ugh, every fucking day, dude. Every fucking day, dude. Every fucking day, every day, I have to have this exact fucking conversation. We want you to have a backbone, dude. He's a fucking Nazi. Once a Nazi, always a Nazi. Why the fuck are you becoming? What the, who the fuck are you becoming, dude? Even when PewDiePie literally fucking promoted an actual Nazi, I said he wasn't a fucking Nazi. So my opinion on that has not changed even back then. So maybe you misunderstood what I was saying and you personally believed a certain thing and that's why you think I've changed. Jesus, fuck. Anyway. For context on his pro-immigration take in his past, he 100% was sucked down a rabbit hole. I know. It's I've done an actual fucking... I've done an actual video on specifically this take and how he used to fight back against reactionary points of view from the Swedish youth in regards to immigration. Like, I use this in my fucking literal video that I did for TYT talking about, like, PewDiePie... Nazi or reactionary gamer and like I, I've, I've covered this before. You got so many dislikes on that YouTube video. I was one of them when I was racist. Yeah, there you go. Ban them and teach them a lesson? Yeah, exactly. Going forward, if people are like, yeah, I'm sorry, dude. He was fucking racist, and he did a bunch of terrible things, okay? Uh, and he did. He straight up did. Whether it was uh, deliberate or, or some of which was not uh, deliberate, doesn't matter. Either he was careless or, like, deliberately a fucking asshole. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if all this shit happened, and he, ha he no longer does this sort of stuff, then I'm going to assume that instead of like uh, learning from his mistakes or having a change of heart, I am going to immediately assume that he's doing it because he's secretly uh, a Nazi still, okay? With no further evidence that he's still the same way, he's just hiding it now. And also on top of that, even if his impact has changed, because like, I don't give a fuck about what his personal point of view is. I give a fuck about the impact of his personal opinions, okay? Like hyping up Ben Shapibo or... Uh, or, or literally promoting a fucking Nazi, like an actual Nazi's YouTube channel. Like, that is the harm, okay? His personal idiotic point of view, no matter what it is, is not the fucking harm. You idiot, he had an impact, 60 people died, you fucker. You are literally a fucking baboon if you, if you actually think that, like, he did that. Like, what the fuck are you saying? Okay, you're trying to fucking stunlock me on the dumbest things. Anyway, if you don't think that people are... If you don't think that uh, people are susceptible to change, I'm going to start banning you guys permanently because, hey, you're being a fucking nuisance and uh, I don't think you can change your mind.
Literally. A big part of why reactionary shit on the internet was so successful. Okay, this is not the only reason. But a part of the reason why reactionary stuff was so successful on the internet for so fucking long is because they prayed to whatever fucking Nordic gods that they believe in, because they're LARPing as like pagans and, uh, and Nazis, that there would be hysterical motherfuckers who looked ridiculous all the goddamn time in the eyes of common folk who are not spending every fucking part of their days and lives uh, finding out about these sorts of things. Okay, we're done with this. Um, uh, I, I, hey, a chatter about Colombia. You have spammed this for our, uh, I believe. Hassan, help me make AOC know in Colombia the government is killing civilians, SOS, since yesterday. Okay, I, you've obviously been in here. You know, I talked about this already today, and I said, I don't know enough. We're getting killed, you dumb fuck. I said, I don't know enough. I need to fucking, like, I, I need to look into it further before I talk about it, okay? We're getting killed, you dumb fuck, is such an idiotic fucking take. If you're getting killed, dumbass, then coming in here and, and spamming it in the chat when I said, my uneducated point of view on this issue is not going to be helpful is, is, is probably something that you realize, right? Like, what do you want me to do? The only thing I can do is lend a voice. And the only way I can lend a voice and maximize that is if I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, I applied this guy five times telling him you weren't going to cover it yet. And the dude still wouldn't stop. Like, I, I don't know what you think me covering it right now in an uninformed capacity, just to retweet, just to retweet Anthony Fantano, do it. I mean, oh, that's fine. But like my retweet isn't going to change anything. I hope you know that, right? Like, I mean, I, I will, if, if you're, I don't know what you want me to retweet, but Wait, you want me to 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 get Anthony Fantano to uh, to tweet to save Colombia? Like what the fuck? Bro, why do people I don't get it, dude. Why do people think that like you know he's saying Anthony Fantano did? Here, I'll retweet what Anthony Fantano retweeted, but I don't think that's going to change anything. I'm sorry, but, you know, I, I don't think tweets are activism for the record. I just. Here you go. There you go. I, I retweeted the same thing that he retweeted. Hey, Needle Drop, we're on national strike here in Colombia. It's getting really violent. They're killing civilians. Please help us spread this information. There you go. I hate to... I hate to... I hate to break it to you, but I don't think it's going to do much. But hey, who knows? All right. Let's watch this ice. Oh, shitty's back, boys. Previously subscribed for one month. You talk about PewDiePie's POV influencing people. What about your unenlightened shit POV influencing people? It's pretty good.
Hell yeah. Nice. Nice of uh, our conservative pet to be back. Anyway, let's watch this Darman video that is going to probably explode my eyeballs out of its fucking eye socket. Officer deports Hispanic man, realizes it was a huge mistake. Oh, brother. Here's another Darman video. We're going in, boys. Let me see your papers. What? what? I don't have them on me right now. It was this guy. That was... More like Dude, you it's... never had them on you. I'm taking you into the station. No, no. Wait, wait, you don't understand. There was this woman. You know, I just helped. I just helped save her life. Spare me the lies. No. All of you criminals are the same. No, please. Save me. Please. Her. Understand? Why are they taking those men? Those men are illegal here, Isabella. But those men look like Daddy. Is Daddy illegal too? Well, Mama, por favor, cuida a la niña mientras salgo, eh? Honey, Daddy's gotta go look for work, okay? Hmm? Papa, please don't go. Ah. We'll still take you away. Take me. Who's gonna take me? Mamá, te digo que por favor no veas estas cosas enfrente de la niña. Entiende, por favor, mamá. Carlito. Sabes lo peligroso que están las cosas allá afuera. Mejor no te vayas. I have to, mamá. How else are we gonna eat? Mamá. I'm a good man. Nothing's gonna happen to me. Bro, this is like... This is actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Papa. This is like... Oh god, I do I not know? I me my bedtime story. I promise. You'll see me sooner than you think, okay? Wait. <laughs> Your lucky jacket. <laughs> You always say that? I never say that about hey, Darman videos. Okay? You do as she says. Come on, my boy. Child. Unless the whole fucking moral of the of this story is gonna turn into him like cyber bullying a Twitch streamer so he can get a new Porsche and then flex on the fucking ICE agent with his new Porsche. No, 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 please let me go. What do you want from me, honey? I don't want your money. I want something else. <laughs> Hey, the lady said to let her go. Get out of here. But why are you helping me? Because I have a daughter. And I'm just doing what any father would do. Now go, get out of here. You don't want any problems. Well, then you got a problem. No. It's all the commotion here. Well, thank God you're here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Yo, I love, I love when, uh, you know, ICE agents are running around in full raid gear. By the way, motherfucker, ICE agents don't even have ICE on their gear when they're doing raids, specifically so they can portray themselves as cops, okay? To, to make it seem like they have more expansive jurisdiction than they actually do. I don't know what the, why are you helping me because I have a daughter? That, that, that part of the equation is fucking crazy too. Like, who the fuck's like, why are you helping me? Uh, as I'm in the process of, they, yeah, they literally run around in raid armor, but they don't have ice on them. Yeah. A commotion here. Oh, thank God you're here. There's this guy, there's this woman that I was helping right now. Who are you? Let me see your papers. What? What? I don't have them on me right now. It was this guy. That was... More like you never had him on you. I'm taking you into the station. No, no, wait. wait you don't understand. There was this. Okay, this is low key uh, realistic. This Woman. might be the most. You know, I just helped. I just helped save her life. Spare me the lies. <laughs> this might be. Yeah, I know you're tight. No. All of you criminals are the same. You would never help anyone. No, no, please. Save me. Please. please, please. Get in there. No, please. Look, you're going to wait here until they deport you back to where you came from. I need to make this phone call. I promised my daughter was gonna come home tonight. Give me that. No, no, no. no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You can speak to your daughter. As soon as you go back to Mexico. No. With all the other criminals. No, please, you don't understand. I, I, I'm a Yo, even Darman. 
Even Darmon is like, yo, fuck ice. I don't put that shit in my water, dude. That's crazy. Like, Darmon, who did that, like, not all cops are bad uh, video, is like, yeah, fuck ice, though, for real. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm a good man. I was saving this girl's life. She needed my help. Please. Even though, like, part of the fucking story is that, like, you know, he did a good job of showcasing the humanity behind uh, uh, the criminalization of immigrants. But uh, it's kind of wild that, like, your worth your value and your worth as an immigrant does not come from like stopping a rape from happening. I'm just letting you know that that's like just saying that's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a weird, uh, uh, approach there, but please, I just want to see my daughter. I made a promise to her. I'm sure you're a father too. Please. Lies. No, no. All lies. No, no, no. I bet you don't even have a daughter no. and I know you didn't save anyone. No, no. You're gonna wait here. The bus will be here any minute to deport you back to Mexico. Wherever you came from. No, 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 no. Comprende? Please. Please. What Please! Is that? Dude, the, the microphone is so bad on this. Why is it? What the fuck happened on this video, bro? Oh my God. What are you doing here? Are you okay? Dad, you won't believe what just happened. Baby, tell me. Wait. Yo. I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, this video is more truthful than it lets on in the sense that uh, you have a, uh, potentially, I don't know if he's Hispanic or not, but uh, you have a self-hating uh, uh, brown ice agent. Okay, which happens a lot. 52%, I think, of, uh, of Customs and Border Patrol officers are Hispanic. Who has a, uh, who has a daughter that uh, seemingly is not... Uh, seemingly is not his daughter. I'm just... <laughs> Tell me, what happened? There was this thug in the alleyway, and he grabbed me. I thought I was gonna die. Who did this to you? Did he hurt you? No, I'm fine. You see, there was this man who came out of nowhere and he saved my life. When I asked him why he would help me, he told me he also had a daughter and he just did what any father would do. He was such a good man, a real hero. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. Who was this hero? I don't know. He didn't... Wait, that's him! That's the man who saved my life! There must be some misunderstanding. That man is a criminal. No, I'm telling you that's the man. That's him. <laughs> he said he had a daughter. This man, daughter, saved your life? <laughs> what the fuck? Only then does the ICE agent realize that the person that he robbed the freedom of and caged was a full human being. The bus will be here any minute to deport you back to Mexico. I think it's a crime to make something so fucking serious so cringe though. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Papa, where are you? You promised you dream me my bedtime story. I usually don't make videos like this, but seeing what's happening with families getting torn apart. Why are you smile talking after this, dude? Oh! Oh! 
still talking in the I've aftermath of this my... fucking oh god oh. Oh. heart and i couldn't get myself to stay silent anymore every day families are being ripped apart wives are being taken from their husbands sons are being separated from their mothers and daughters are being taken away from their fathers Imagine a son going to school and waiting outside only to realize his parents aren't coming to get him anymore. Or a wife waiting at home for her husband to find out he isn't coming home. Or a daughter waiting for her dad to read her a bedtime story only to... F yeah, no, this video actually wasn't bad at all, which I'm kind of surprised by. Especially seeing like all the other, all the other fucking videos that he's done. But even then, in the end, it's still like, ah, it's so fucking cringe. Find out that he's gone. So please, let's all work together to stop these family separations. Because that person that we end up kicking out may have just been the biggest blessing of our life. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Yeah, only then, like, only then is it valuable. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. I wonder if this actually influenced Facebook moms, though. I cry when the little girl said, Papa, you promised her. I felt that too. Let's just assume this officer got all the records straight to the authorities and the man returned to his home safely. I'm not crying. Yeah, where I can't believe I cannot believe that in the end the dad didn't just roll back up to America to flex on the ICE agent with a goddamn Tesla, dude. Wild. Lady calls cops on a black dad with a white kid instantly regrets it. A spoiled girl demands cash from her poor dad instantly regrets it. Sounds on American. Even Darmon can stand for that. Dude. Do people in the comments think it's real? I, mean, I don't know. Before you lock someone up, think about what they could do for you. Yeah, even then, there is like a... Even then, there is like a... There's like a fucking attitude there that is still like... You know, come on, bro. Like, why are you locking up immigrants? Like, they could be stopping rapists from doing rape on your daughter. Like, which is the only reason why you should not... Which is the only reason why you should not <laughs> deport immigrants. Oh, Jesus. People are only valuable if they can provide a service. Darmon and David get it. Two soldiers who ended racism straight up. This is true. This is absolutely true, dude. Okay. Let's watch this one. <sighs> Wait, actually, fuck this. I want to see what his top hits are, dude. I'm just going straight to the vein, boys. Gold Digger, we already saw that. Mean, girl, mean Girls Reject Team from TikTok Dance Group. TikTok famous teen kicked out of designer store. Owner lives in regret. Poor kid gets made fun of. Evil foster care mother mistreats kid lives to regret it. Rich mom shames this poor mom. Oh God. Okay. Mm. <laughs> this is going to be good. And so I told her you're fired. <laughs> oh hi i'm so what? sorry we're late we missed the bus and everything and 
teacher goes on strike for more pay? What? Oh my god, I thought this was a joke! I thought the teacher... Oh my god, I literally joked about, like, worker goes on strike. What happens next is crazy. And anyhow, here are the cookies you asked me to bring. That's what you brought. They look so cheap. And where did you even buy those anyway? Uh, well, I didn't buy them. I... My son and I, we baked them together. I baked and he decorated. First, you show up at my Christmas party late, and then you bring those. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I bought these. Each one is handmade by an award-winning pastry chef. That cost ten dollars a cookie. Wow, those look delicious. <sighs> Good thing I didn't care on Jasmine. Oh, fuck out of here with your bitch ass cookies, Jasmine. The fuck is this? Mark ass cookie bullshit, dude. Hey, I don't want these cookie cutter ass cookies, dude. Rich people get $10 per cookie, you know? Fucking what a loser, dude. Imagine being so poor that you made fucking poor ass cookies. I bet the whole thing cost $10. A backup plan. How do you know her again? Her son and my son are friends, so I had to invite her. <sighs> All right, everyone, it's time for the white elephants. Let's start with number one. Fuck's a white elephant? Oh, that's me. I'll take this one. Smart choice. That one's from me. They're dropping white elephant? What is a white elephant? An elephant that's white. Bro, this shit is so rich that I don't even I understand. What the fuck? Rich people gift exchange? Random gift exchange is usually the cap amount? <laughs> it's pretty common? What? <laughs> is it like, why don't they just, is this secret Santa? Gift swap where you bring stuff and you randomly pick Crystal from the group. ornament. Wow, thank you so much, Karen. Of course, her name is Karen, dude. <laughs> it's Swarovski. I know we said $25 limit, but come on. <laughs> Who really followed that? <laughs> ah, oh. I'm number two. I choose... Hmm. Oh, maybe choose another one? No. I already chose. Oh my gosh, she got different colored eyes, bro. I just realized she got... What the fuck? Yo! She's so rich, dude. That's a rich person thing. It's not. I don't know where that's... I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Is this a... Handmade ornament. It looks like it costs less. Okay, that shit's whack as fuck. Come on. All right. <laughs> the cookie thing I was joking about. But like, goddamn, dude, that's trash, bro. That is trash, dude. Really, dude? That's the ornament that you made? Like, I mean, at that point, literally don't make an ornament. Like, literally, that is worse then not bring anything, okay? It comes from the heart, man. Shut the fuck up. That is dog shit, dude. It's literally dog shit. Just don't bring anything. <laughs> Just literally go to the dollar store, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It looks like it costs less than a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. This one came from you. Yeah, my, my son and I, we painted it together. Uh, it reminded me of when- Where'd you get the materials? The 99 cent store? Wait, that's the problem? That it's like cheap materials? What are you, a fucking chemical engineer? Who gives a shit what the materials look like? 
It just ultimately looks like dog shit. That's the problem. Oh, I'm sorry. If the materials were actually uh, unobtainium, then uh, I wouldn't have such a problem with it. Oh, uh, I can't believe you didn't make this dog shit ornament from conflict minerals. How many, how many people were enslaved to make this ornament? <laughs> if you don't like it, you, you could always uh, trade it for... Uh... No. I don't want anyone else to get stuck with this. Let's move on to number three. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, really? So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Richie. <laughs> Rich woman names her dot names her son Richie, dude. I hope one of these has what I asked for. Well, I know you're going to love them. I'm gonna open them right now. <sighs> it's gotta be a P Oh no, it's November 2020. What's wrong? It's probably Max? a PS5. Didn't your mother get you any gifts? Oh. Uh, well. Here you go. I hope you like it. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh, damn, that's a whack ass gift, dude. Yo, this mom consistently. Oh my God, she is so. Here's a photo of you and I. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Actually, I take that back. The worst gift is usually the gifts that I get on Christmas, which is socks. Like, always. It's like, Mom, I don't need socks. And they're not even, like, white socks that I could just, like, use. It's always, like, Christmas-related socks. I'm like, I'm never going to wear these, dude. I'm literally never going to wear these socks. Please. A picture frame? That's what you got him for Christmas? How cheap. Um, I know it's not much, honey, but I hope you like it. Like it? I love it! Hasanami makes fun of a black woman's gifts and instantly regrets it. I mean, this is a dog shit gift, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I'll put this next to my bed. <laughs> Let me guess, her Richie Rich kid is not Max, gonna be happy with anything. You don't have to lie. You can tell her you hate it. I mean, what kind of a mother spends five dollars on their son's Christmas present? Like, it, it's not the price of the gift. It's like how much thought you put into it. That's what I'm like fucking making fun of here. This mom literally got <coughs> her son a photo of themselves together. Like, that's kind of whack, dude. That's not exactly... It's not exactly a thoughtful game. It's just a photo. Here's a photo of us. I'm just saying like this. Hmm. Honey, um, would you mind giving us a moment? You know, I don't think you understand what the holidays are about. You see, I may not be able to afford fancy cookies from an award-winning chef, but my son and I put a lot of love into the cookies we made. And that is what matters. And I may not be able to buy expensive things for the White Elephant Exchange. But I put a lot of time into decorating that ornament. With okay, that's a lie. Like, that's literally a lie. You did not put a lot of time into that ornament. I saw that ornament, Janice. You did not put a lot of fucking time into it. Why are you lying right now? I'm sorry. That's a lie, dude. We got video evidence of her not putting a lot of time into the ornament. With my son. And to me... That means a lot more. And I may not be able to afford a lot of Christmas presents for my son, but I teach him to be grateful for everything that he gets. Okay, that's no a lot better. Cost. You know what I mean? And that matters more than anything. 
I'm just... So you see, the holidays are not about how much you spend. They are about how much love you give. <laughs> wow. That sounds like something a poor person would say. <laughs> you clearly have no idea what the holidays are about. These cookies are so good. They're my favorite. Yeah, are there any more? <laughs> I'm so glad that you like them. I tell you what, I can make more and send them to you. Um, <laughs> did you try the ones that I bought over there? Those are gross. Yeah. Damn, Karen, get fucking on, dude. Boom, do a Fortnite L dance afterwards, too. Get fucked with your $10 per cookie cookies, dude. Also, sugar cookies are the best. I mean, I love sugar cookies, so I, I, I do... I do fuck with sugar cookies heavy. And also, uh, I love that they, I love that they were just like, I love that these like five rolls are like, yeah, fuck those cookies, dude. Yeah, no one's eating those. I want more of these. Excuse me, Karen. Do you still have that handmade ornament by chance? <laughs> yes. Why? Is it possible to trade you, actually? That one reminds me of my childhood. My mom used to make ones just like oh, that. Oh, get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah, yeah, right, dude. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of my childhood because when I was a child and had no technical skills, I just made those whack ass ornaments. <laughs> really? You would rather have some cheap handmade ornament? These are always funny because they just like miss the point. Okay? Like it's not about how expensive uh, the the fucking gifts are. <laughs> or like <laughs> Or like the materials that the ingredients are made of. It's so Then a crystal one? <laughs> oh. Whatever. Here. Thanks so much. I can't believe this. What's wrong, sweetheart? You didn't give me the new PS5. Well, I figured since you had the PS4, you didn't need the 5. Oh, what a fucking dumbass, Mom. Gifts. I don't care about all the other stupid gifts. I wanted a PS5. It's me. I'm sorry, honey. I will get you one as soon as I can. Literally this me, is dude. Seriously, the worst Christmas ever. I hate you. Here's some advice. It's not a Get your son the PS5. And not the PS4. Poor mom be like, uh, I was actually uh botting every website. So that I could purchase as many PS5s as, as I could, so that I could upsell it on the marketplace. Here's a PS5 for you, if you would like, you fucking broke bitch. How about that? Yeah, that'll be $1,500. About how much money you spend. It's about how much love that you give. It was nice to see you, Karen. again mom i love you so much <laughs> if you really love our content then make sure you're subscribed hell yeah dude and don't forget you're not only what is it like you're changing the world chef kicks out homeless customer what happens next will shock you oh All my right, god everybody listen up i hope they're cooking an egg again in the kitchen this is a Kitchelin star, the highest <laughs> and Kitchelin. most exclusive honor any restaurant can get. It is the main reason why Giovanni's has been so busy. Yeah, well, that's great for you, but how does that help any of us? It's not like you've paid any of us anything